Welcome my friends to another fascinating video. We're gonna get started on this hot rod project again. We are gonna look at where we're gonna mount this rack. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where the middle of this rack is. That's not as easy as it seems. On the Pinto Mustang too, the mounting bushings are not equal distance. They're actually, I think they're offset that way a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to take the steering shaft here, put a mark on it, turn it all the way one way, turn it all the way the other way, figure out how many times it rotates around, bring it back so that it's centered. Then we can measure the distance between the tie rod ends. And then that will tell us where the middle of this rack is and that will give us equal distance turning left and right. So let's start with that. Put a perfectly straight line right there. Now it is all the way over to this side. So we just need to turn it back. All right, while we turn, we wanna count how many revolutions there are. So that is one, two, three, three and three and a little bit, three and a little bit. I put a line there. So we wanna go about one and a half plus half the distance of that to turn it back. That should be centered right there. Let me rephrase that. That should be close enough to centered to where we can at least get an idea where this is gonna go. Some fine line tape, just put a tape. There's a line, it doesn't go all the way around, but this is gonna end up sitting in the car. This is gonna sit in the car like this. So what I really need to do is figure out where to cut the hole to notch this section for this to go. And then we can start working on these lower mounts. So I'm gonna take this center line. I need to make a mark here on the center. I'm gonna get a center line mark there, center line on the, the steering rack. And I need those about, about lined up right about there. So that is, pretty much where the shaft is going. So we need to make a good cutout over here. Well, actually, I had actually eyeballed this before. You can see kind of the cutout about where I thought it would go. It's it's a little bit off, but not, not too bad for just eyeballing it, not checking a rack, not checking a rack for center or anything. So what we need to do is make a big cutout here. I am sure there's uh, better ways and more precise ways to cut this, but we're just using the torch for now. Knock this piece out. Well, that's pretty close to where this needs to go. I can't go up much higher because the bellows are already hitting the frame. So I probably need to drop this down actually a little bit. Where it's a little bit of contact on this side. I need to open a hole up a little bit, but that is pretty good for a rough cut. Now we've got this rack fitting in here pretty tight, but this rack does mount on rubber bushings, so it's gonna move a little bit. So we, we need to make sure there's enough clearance around here when this is all done for this rack to move around a little bit. But I think we are pretty good. That is about where that's gonna go. Well, the next thing's gonna be build some brackets to get these to mount to the frame. I also realize I'm out of cutoff wheels. So normally I'd probably do a lot of this with the cutoff wheels. I'd probably drill a hole here and hit it with some cutoff wheels, but I'm out of cutoff wheels. So plus we're just roughing it in anyway, this will work. Now that we know where to mount it, next time we're gonna work on building templates to build brackets on how to mount it to the frame. 